everyone, it's me, Leroy Jones and Elena Lopez coming to you with the Leroy and Elena show from the studio that made Tolkien relevant again. It's me, Leroy and Elena. And we're being joined by Tierra. Hi! Snarky Susie. Hello! And Carrie. Hey! Of Tea in Token Thursdays. So, how you guys doing? Ah, oh, we're doing great. <sighs> of course, though, we usually don't record on a Monday. And I'm pretty cramped because I gotta, <sighs> I gotta be at work on a Monday. Ah! We should be getting ready for the next part of Tea and Token Thursdays. I know, I heard your last episode. I mean, it turned into a little bit of a mess at the end. But man, the Moor versus Loki. Whew, that was a bit too much. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but... <sighs> the Moor and Loki, oh, they're both hotheads. But the worst part about it is... You guys had Loki stay while you kicked Namor out. Please explain that. Well, I think I'll let Tara handle this one. Yeah. Thanks, Susie. Okay, so... Right towards the end, Namor got mad at Yoda that's accusing him of being... Look, he accused us of calling him a hothead. Well, he was a hothead. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> and then Loki jumps like, like, oh, no, 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 no. This is my show. It's like, oh, it's your show? It's like, and then... <gasps> and then Tiara laid down the law by saying... What did you say? I said, Loki, chill. No more? Out. <sighs> Wait, where's Humphrey? Ah, uh, he's gone in the gates to make sure that no more doesn't come back. <sighs> I know. But that fan theory about Loki and his mom is, it's pretty weird. I know. And then again, comics are weird. The MCU is weird. Norse mythology is weird. It's all weird. Okay, so I know you're probably going to be talking. Look, we listened to your um story about the hitchhiker's guide to middle earth so let's talk about that okay we don't have a lot of time so um here we go <clears throat> we are officially in the world of middle earth where Balbo is forced to go on a venture back at him mm-hmm. yep i got that part and then he makes 13 doors mm-hmm. and they go on crazy adventures <laughs> just like how they did the <laughs> Hedgehacker's Guide to Galaxy. Okay, so what was the best part? I like the part where they got slapped in the head by the slapping things. Oh, man, that was funny. I know. And uh, we came up with this a couple of years ago where those things came out and popped you over the head. Ah! I know, right? Rude. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> I know, so rude. And then, what happened? Ah. And then... <laughs> I like the part where Azal got mad at Ori for criticizing his poetry. Uh, yeah, he's like, lock them all up in jail. What? For criticizing poetry? I know, right? That was so mean. Mean. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, the part that scared me the most was when Smog tried to rip off Bilbo's brains. Ooh. <laughs> and then Bart smushed him. <laughs> but the really scary part was when the orcs came out saying, Get off us, those dwarves. And then Bart's like, No. Okay, you asked for it. And then he went and attacked the Lonely Mountain. <laughs> but then, uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. How did the story end again? <sighs> <laughs> the the androids saved everyone. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. Remember what? When they, uh, you had to be there when we came up first. Came up with a story where the android was like, oh, I feel so depressed. And then he shot Azog, and Azog was like, 
I feel so depressed. Like, what's the point? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Oh. Like, you gotta ask yourself, man, what's the point? <laughs> I know, that was funny. Yeah. But Bilbo's speech to smile before Smog tried to kill her really got me going. I know, right? That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, but Bilbo was honest. Like, okay, so, in all honesty, why did you do the Hitchhiker's Guide to Middle Earth? Well, okay. <sighs> to be honest, Elena, Martin Freeman did the Hobbit movies. And he also did, uh, he also did, he also did <laughs> The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Ah, I know, right? But then, that was great. Yeah, and you dropped it. Oh, wait a minute. I can't believe I dropped it. Okay, so, uh, so, for Tad talking <laughs> Thursdays, that's when we sat there and did that commercial. Well, no, we, it did, didn't, didn't we do a, a show where, no, I'm trying to find, uh, the one where, oh, it's called, don't forget to bring a towel. Oh, don't forget to bring a towel. Yeah. Go, don't forget to bring a towel. Ugh. Well, I guess we call it, don't forget to bring a towel. Yeah. Of course, we'll be discussing that on our show towards the end. Yeah, and then you gotta deal with Loki going, Ugh, towels. Ugh, those annoying little things you humans carry around with you. Ugh. Uh, uh, you better be careful, Leroy. I hear Loki rips people apart and they try to be like him. Man, I know, right? I just want Loki to be good, okay? Good. Oh, he'll be good. Eventually? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> when we talk about the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, we think intergalactic space travel, towels, in life, the universe, and everything. But then, fortunately, all that went away forever when Douglas Adams died. Which is why we, we try to celebrate Towel Day. Because it's all about towels. <laughs> yeah. Everybody had towels in Middle Earth. Look, at everyone in Middle Earth carried towels, it would be kind of weird. I'm pretty sure J.R. Tolkien would have everyone pack a towel. Mm hmm. <sighs> and then next thing you know, Bilbo's towel would have, would be a mass of tears and holes and rips because he'd been using it too much. Yep, as would be the tours. Gandalf's towel is gray. <laughs> yep, ew. Um, the Randall would be having one of those Egyptian cotton towels, eh, which shows just how conceited he was. Everyone in Lake Town would be having general cotton towels. Or linen. <sighs> ah, ah, are you yawning? I'm getting bored. We usually don't come to work on Mondays. Plus, I'm supposed to be coming up on a new show with Javier. And Jacqueline's gonna be on us about that. <laughs> and if you guys don't watch my new show and talk about it, well, up there to you! <sighs> you're going to watch my new show and you're going to like it! I command you! Whoa, Susie! Chill! Okay? Jeez. <sighs> I know, what a weird cat. Hey. Well, you know. <sighs> <sighs> we have, uh, so, when we talk about, when we think about the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, we think comedy. 
And I'm pretty sure Douglas Adams did work with the Monty Pythons. Yeah. Because we probably should put in that part in the story where Gandalf starts chasing after the orcs of the tower. And the orcs are like, it's got a tower! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Yeah. <laughs> we need to do the Lord of the Monty Python. I think someone did that already. Wow. Well, not how we tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Come on. And besides, think about the bunny. Oh no, not the bunny. The, the bunny? Oh, the lame man lane. These bunnies are evil. I mean, just, 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 just look at them. Yeah. And, and this little bunny starts jumping up, hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, and then he jumps up and tore people's heads off. Ah! <laughs> and it was literally that bad. Ugh. Yep. And, uh, here it is. Uh, oh! And, uh, okay. So, not like that, we report on fandom news. As you can know, we're all getting the Zack Snyder cut, and I really, to be honest, don't know how to feel about that right now. I'm wondering, is the movie going to be any good, or are they just pandering to the fans (laughs) just to save themselves? I think they're pandering to the fans. And plus, though, Warner Brothers are like... (laughs) We're losing our credibility, brother. Ugh. And if they could do just one good movie, just one good movie in the DC universe, we'll forgive them. If this, if this not a cut turns out to be good, we'll forgive them. Oh, but they already did do a good movie about that. What? What is it? Try Aquaman. Oh, yeah. Aquaman. You need to talk about Aquaman. Ooh, Aquaman. And, ooh. Hey, look at that. Check it out. It says here, everything always is saying that Spider-Man rights are going back to Marvel. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Our current Spider-Man is going back to Disney. Yeah, to make sure that what happened between Disney and Sony never happens again. I know, and we kept singing that song. <laughs> we were like, oh yeah, <clears throat> we are the toys, and we're coming to get you, Sony. So you better watch out, because our toy Avengers are coming for you. We will slap you and we'll scratch your eyes out. And we won't stop till we get Spider-Man back. Because we are the Toy Avengers. You guys are scary. Come on. <sighs> Come on. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, <laughs> oh, look at uh, They're doing the... <laughs> Come on. You gotta... Look. The thing is, we want Spider-Man back. And plus, Spider-Man needs to meet Venom. That's right. Spider-Man needs to meet Venom. And Spider has got to (laughs) meet... Come on. Spider-Man's got to meet... He has to meet Miles Morales. That's right. (sighs) Spider-Man needs to meet Miles Morales. And, uh... And that that means oh, Spider Man needs to meet Mom or Alice. Yeah. And then they kind of need to and then he kind then he kinda of needs to meet the Fantastic Four. Yeah. Come on. When are we gonna get a Fantastic Four movie? Yeah. And can they more please hold his temper so he can get his own freaking movie like he's supposed to? Jeez. Excuse me? Are you talking about me? Oh, great. Here he comes. Yeah. Come on. Uh, 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 out, out, out the studio. Uh, out the studio. Look here. Your little friends out here talking smack about me. Hey, out them or out. <laughs> Jeez. Out. Ugh. Let's not forget Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't you think Deadpool inspired me to be? Oh, really? You're talking about me? 
Oh, hi everyone, it's me, Deadpool. Ten bucks says you're watching this, and just no, Deadpool, out, out, out. Yeah, there's only one character who can come in here and ruin everything for us, and it ain't you. Yeah, so out, what the, come on now, please, I out. Come on now. Deadpool 3 is coming out soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get out of here. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah. Ugh, we got like five minutes left in our, in our premiere show. And, ooh. Yeah. Oh, look. Okay, let's go back. Ooh. Cosmic Wonder says Spider-Man rides back in MCF for good. If we can get a 20, 99 version of Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, Peter Parker probably has to meet him too. Yeah, all the Spider-Mans have to meet. <laughs> of course, all the Spider-Man characters need to meet. That's right. <sighs> Come on. Look at this. Yeah, plus, I'm so mad at Mysterio for like ruining everything. Ugh, I hate stupid Mysterio. Yeah, he deserves to get his butt whooped. Hey, you know what we should sing? A song? What? It is called Do, 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 do. We are the toys ever coming to get you, Mysterio. So you better watch out. Because the toy Avengers are coming for you, we will slap you and we'll scratch your eyes out and we won't stop until you get what you deserve for ever making up those lies about Spider-Man. Because we know what really happened. Yeah, liar. Because we are the Toy Avengers. Yeah. And J. Jonas Jameson is a terrible person. He lies. And he's like, it's better me in the minutes. Well, here's a menace for spreading false information. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, though, <sighs> Here's how we, uh, okay, here's how we tell the story. What? What is it? Okay, let's go back. Uh, okay, let's go back and we reiterate. One, we have a little story that's available on YouTube for you to enjoy. The link will be put in the description. Step two. Spider-Man could be going back to Disney. Yeah, and Disney has Marvel. So, yep, come on now. Let's get on it, Marvel. Make with the Spider-Man movie. Yeah, and plus we need to see Spider-Man working with the Avengers again. <laughs> and then we talked about how the Zack Snyder version of Justice League is coming. And how we'll forgive them if they at least do a good job with it. <sighs> and and then there's other characters that need to come out and they're like, come on. We might not get us a, a live action version of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, but Peter Parker needs to meet with Miles Morales. <laughs> like, come on, make it happen. And probably Spider-Gwen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Deadpool. Hello. Out! Yeah, get out of here, Deadpool. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, and then the more try to crash our our podcast. Yeah, also rude. Ugh. I'm surprised that Loki is smart enough to wait till Thursday when he crashes our podcast. Yeah, at least Loki's nice. But these guys, though, nope. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Leroy and Elena's show. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow for more stuff. Yep, because guess what? In this day and age, 
you can't be too careful with what you got. So, thank you to Tiara, Susie, and Carrie for coming with us. <laughs> because... <sighs> We're going to need their help to help us get ahead. Okay, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you later. Goodbye. 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 Me. <laughs>